All right, hey, welcome back to second half action here at Les Ether Gym in Ken Wills Court, 41-23, your halftime score. Uh, the Bremer Knights go on a big run to wind down the first half. They now scored from the four-minute mark. They outscored the the Kings of Buccaneers 18 to 6 to wind down the first half and have built themselves a comfortable 18 point lead at the break. Well, Jim, the, the, the Knights, uh, like I said, built that big lead, but uh, you know, they, you'd like to see more than Sam Tucker do all the work in the second half. Yeah, because in the second quarter, Devontae Johnson had two, Mejia had four, and Pete's had two. So you shut, you shut Tucker down, where's the offense coming from? Let's see if the Buccaneers will make the adjustment. Pete's out on top of the basketball. Knights have possession to start things off here in the second half. Work ball around to Sam Tucker. You got Tucker, you got Pete's, you got Kadinga, who did not play in the first half. Sellers and Christian on the floor for the Bremerton Knights. Driving in is Kadingo. Take it out to Sam Tucker. Wide open is Pete's near angle, calling for the basketball. Gets it. Eyes a three off the mark, no good. Stanley will pull down the rebound. Quick to get it out to Hernandez. Has the ball jabbed away from behind. Here's Sam Tucker going up. Flipped up the lead. And here is Sellers with the rebound. But he couldn't get it out of his hands quick enough before he stepped on the inline. Sam Tucker, hands in his face, can't believe he blew the lay-in. Yeah, that could have been good. <laughs> Hands out to Stanley, up to Walter on the base, on the free throw line. Gives out to Reese Hernandez on the off angle. Now on the baseline to... No, Walter, he hits it to triple. No, Walter is second three of the... Goes to the gap. 41 to 26. Tucker now near angle. Off to our left. Can't get that one to fall. Sarah's will take it. There is time at the troll. Getting the basketball out to Stanley at the free throw line to Walter. Zooms one in to troll. Spins in the lane and hits. The second point of the night. Here it comes to Kingston. Back within 13. Shout out to Mark, you hear it from the stands. Air ball. Walter for three. Too strong, but here's Katayan to Troll battling for the, off of the rebound, but coming out of the fray with it is Pete's on the run. To Tucker, near baseline, dribble drives in, kicks out for Pete's. Good defense on him by Hernandez. Kicks out for three, no good. Christian will battle for the rebound against the Troll, and the Troll will win that battle and bring the basketball out of backcourt. Long three by Stanley. Swish. The Kuru, Stanley, the ripple, and the triple. And here we go, back to a 10-point lead. Peace back to the way for three, in and out. Walter will yank down the defensive rebound. Hands off to the troll, flips it to Stanley. Baseline left for three, and hits. Kuru Hernandez is first. Come from beyond the three-point line. And the Buccaneers have come back within seven. An 8-0 run to start things off here in the third quarter. We have a full timeout. We'll keep it right here on both ends. Well, Jim, not to start the Bremerton Knights for hope before in the second half. Well, Bremerton's 0 for 6 right now um, to start the second half. And uh, Kingston's like uh, 4 for 5. So... Um, been a total change around. It's almost like the Knights came out of the locker room lax days, days ago thinking their game was already in the bag. They thought the butter was uh, chilled and the Jill was chilling and, uh, the, and, and uh, all that. <laughs> the chick hern thing, right? The game is in the refrigerator, the door is closed, the lights are out, the eggs are cooling, the butter is getting hard. And, the Jill is chilling. and uh, if you're inside the uh, refrigerator, what if you can turn the refrigerator on inside if you're actually inside of the thing? <laughs> 41 to 33. We're going to clean up first. I'll explain later. 41 to 33. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. All right, 529 to go. But Knights will try to stop the bleeding here in the third quarter. 8 0 run by the Buccaneers to start things off and narrow the gap to seven. 
Peets will swoop into the lead with the right-hand runner as it deflected away. Peets will battle for the troll. His double team finally gets to Walner. Speeds out of backcourt. For Hernandez for three. In and out, no good. Went halfway down and spit back out. Long pass down to Peets for we were slaying. Go get that to roll in to stop the bleeding. And a turnover back the other way by the Buccaneers. Now this game has a lot of twists to it, 43 to 34. Knights will inbounds right in front of Maya Davis. Kadengo now to Christian who wants to, tells him to go to the other side of the floor. Tucker gives to Kadengo to oblige it, went all the way around the baseline, did off the side. Tucker with a trawl all over him. The Peets, the Tucker. Good defense by the Buccaneers. Working against Reese Hernandez will step back, air ball. That was Tucker that time off the defense from Reese Hernandez, a six foot sophomore guard. It was all over Tucker and forcing him into a bad shot. Breaking the press is the Buccaneers. Reese Hernandez drives into the lane on the pass off to Stanley. Is fouled on the play as he goes into the paint. Fouled by Christian, that should be his third, and it is. First team foul in the Bremerton Knights here in the second half is Devontae Johnson. Will step in as Devontae Johnson in the first half at five for the Knights. Tucker will stand out momentarily for Maya Davis. Walters will get it to Hernandez, flip to Stanley for three. Along Hernandez, he hits the shot. Dakota Stanley, the six foot senior. Back within six. Sellers in the pass and fakes left, goes right for 17 footer off balance shot. Christian will yank down the off with the rebound, flips out to Johnson, drives in, kicks out to Gundango. Knights will step back off the offense with Peets. Johnson back to Peets on top, swings it to Sellers, who gives back to her Peets, who gives back to Sellers for long three. It's glass, no rim, into the hands of a troll. To Stanley, the slow up for a three. Got Dakota Stanley. Just like that. 43 to 40. The Buccaneers have came back like a tornado here in the second half. Nice to work the ball around to the far side of Kandango. Good ball movement, but also good defense by the, the Kingston Buccaneers. Shifting that zone around. The piece finally open for his triple. In Nine points for 45 40. Knights to away with a steal on the opposite end. And a foul called in the breakaway by the Buccaneers and Dakota Stanley, the six foot senior. 18 points. Hubbard will come back in for the Buccaneers. Kerr Hernandez will step out. Clega will come in for the Knights. To and uh, stepping out for the Bremerton Knights will be Condengo. Beats to Johnson near angle for three. No good. Sellers will tap the ball in the hands of Walters, who gets in the hands of Kerr Hernandez, or Walt, the kind to call it in the trawl, rather, excuse me. Long three by Stanley from way out there. Almost near the painted logo. Devontae Johnson coming back the other way, flips it to Clegg on the far baseline. Who hands it to Peets. Nice pass back to Clegg for Arkham three. And goes in, goes out. The troll pulls down the rebound and hands off to Hubbard. Speeds into front court. Buccaneers going from our left to our right. Nice pass underneath to the troll going up with a shot. And there's Aldi Christian to grab his wrist and get whistled for his fourth foul of the night. Yep, that should be his fourth foul on Christian and it is and popping up after a brief rest is Sam Tucker to come in for Christian to save him for later on here in this ball game. Aldi Christian, 5'10 junior, we'll see him back in the Knights uniform next year. Walters will swing to Hubbard who almost walks with it. Flings it to Stanley for a long three. Back higher, long shot, long rebound. The troll gets it off as a put back. No good, gets his own rebound. And then on the floor, we come before he goes back up with the shot jam. It was fouled 
Buccaneers pounding the offensive board. Knights come away with the basketball. Hubbard grabbed the better jersey. Nobody saw it. John said, We'll go back to get away. Shot there to go to Stanley. As he goes, get that thing out of here. 46 40 is your score. Knights on top. Johnson out on top. Swings it to Clega. Back to Johnson. He gets it. Drives into the lane for a 13 footer. John Sells will go for the rebound as the ball jabbed away by Stanley. Quickly out to Hubbard. 2 1 4. Hubbard will drive in. Whip it out to the far baseline. Out to the Stanley. Splits the fingers. Has the ball jabbed away. A steal by the Knights. To Pete's against Hubbard. Who's hey, Hubbard! Reaches in the cookie jar and gets it away. Long pass down to Stanley. Goes up. He can't convert against the defense of Stellars. Johnson will leave his way out of traffic through backcourt. 118 to go in the third quarter of play. 46 40. Knights on top. The Peets for three. Air ball. The Troll will pull down the rebound. 105 to go. Third quarter. Splits the centers as the Troll goes up. Misses the shot short. Peets with the rebound. Speeds out of backcourt. Spins into the lane. Goes up as the ball jabbed away. Retrieves it. Down to Stellars. He can't. Tried to. Get it out to the far side to Johnson. And that will go off Johnson's hands and out of bounds. That was just a turnover waiting, destined to happen. Destined turnover. Just a frantic play, out of control play, and and uh, the hot potato. And the Buccaneers will get it off tonight's turnover, trending by six. Show by 18 at the break. Hubbard at the free throw line, kicked out to Walter. Back out to Hubbard. Drives in. Tried to feed it off, goes up and walks with the basketball in the paint. Turn over by the Kingston Buccaneers. Good idea by Harvard, but a little out of control, drove in and Noel said, whoops, hey, there's three defenders there, walks with the basketball. Nice will have a four shot differential on the game clock to the shot clock. Tucker for three. Can't get it to fall, but he's fouled on the play and go to the free throw line for three as he fouled. By the Kingston Buccaneers on by Alex Smoth, the 5'11 junior. Remington needs all three of these free throws, right? They've only scored five points in the entire third quarter. Compared to the 14 by the, the Buccaneers. Sam Tucker will bend, flex, and. What did, what did John say do there? There's no shot. He, he went down below the free throw line. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's your, it's your bad. It's your, your, your bad, bad. First, we'll have to retry that and hit the free throw. 47 to 40. Nice to build themselves back up. A seven point lead. Next free throw is good. They, they did. Long pass down. Try to get it out to Hubbard, stolen away by Sam Tucker, behind the back dribble. Hangs in the air, flips it to Pete for three, back iron. There's Walter with the, standing with a rebound, fouled from behind by Sellers, I do believe. And uh, long shots, you get long rebounds. Waiting to see, who, actually the foul is on. It is on. Beyond Sellers. So seven seconds to go. They wind down the third quarter. Inbounds to Walter. Stanley rather. Oh. Underneath. Oh. For his fourth of the evening. 48 to 42. And now we'll set up a, a wild fourth quarter impending. Here at Les Heathrow Jim and Ken will score. Your score after three. Knights 48. Buccaneers 42. We're back with the fourth quarter. We come back on the Bremerton Basketball Broadcasting Network. <laughs> 